Whamsy Pamsy Gulf Oil Fisherman. You know, if you're sitting around just complaining and complaining that the fish isn't safe to eat and, you know, you're being forced into doing something you happen to totally disagree, you know, that you want to earn a living. You want, you know, but you don't think that fish is safe and they're putting you in a corner that's telling you you gotta fish because if you don't fish when we think it's safe, then you just don't want to work. I say go to work. I say get all of those fish out of that gulf. But start taking advantage of something. Bruce Lee came up with a concept just a concept that you're strongest when you go with the energy don't you notice that you're really really weak when you're trying to fight a big machine do you honestly think you fishermen do you honestly think you can fight media do you think you can fight government do you think you can fight BP oil no you're going to be weaker. You are going to stress yourself out. You, you know, you're going to end up killing yourself out just trying to scream this stuff isn't safe. Here's a few options. I'm starting to see the early show news have a big cooking you know, session and, and making all of this seafood, letting everybody know how safe it is. What's good about that? Who's guiding us down the wrong path? Media? So I say you fishermen need to start, you know, set up your own restaurant as a challenge. Prove to us that the seafood is safe. Get a restaurant that only caters to top media, all politicians, you know, all CEOs, all restaurant owners, you know, and see how many of them come to eat at your restaurant. And then if nobody shows up, you know, just say, hey, restaurant's not doing too well. We're catering only to the wealthy. We're catering only to media. We're catering only to politicians. But the politicians aren't coming to eat. And then, you know, make that the story. But all of these people are going to want to, you know, convince all of us sheep that the seafood's safe. So what are they going to do? They're going to send media down there. That will force media to eat the fish. But have it as like, oh, a 30-day campaign that eat this fish for 30 days and let's see how good your health is. <laughs> and what does that do? It knocks off all of the politicians. It will knock off all of the media. You know, like, if they want to be dumb, if they are the ones that want to teach us what's good, let's get them to prove it. And if they're going to be stupid enough to eat the fish, and it ends up killing them, there's the news. <laughs> then we find out the truth. You know, it's like, don't be a whamsy-pamsy fisherman trying to, you know, complain and complain, complain. Use it. Go with the energy. Say, yeah, okay, we think it's safe, so come prove it. We want to prove it. Have all of the media and all of the politicians show up and say, see, it's safe. They come and eat it. Let's watch their health for a month. Pretty sure nobody will show up at your restaurant. Pretty sure just that alone will just kind of let everybody know. And then there's one other aspect. If BP oil or the government is saying that you need to sign a contract stating you are the one that is going to be legally responsible for this poison fish. You know, like if somebody eats it and they kind of get cancer, they can come and sue you. Well, don't fight that. Just sign the freaking document. But anybody you sell to has to sign that document as well. All you have to do is lay the responsibility back onto the person that chooses to eat the food. 
and you know at the end of your document just you know put question why you need to sign this document do you really think it's safe you know educate people through the whole system that's trying to to show you as soon as you know you need to sign a document that's an admittance that something's not safe so all you have to do is you know go out and fish you know go with the energy get the fish but anybody you sell it to write a better document write a better legal document get them responsible for what they choose to eat but you know be a little bit more informative that although we think this is totally toxic although you know this coaxive is like will harm your health cause cancer and cause birth defects and you know write the whole list of everything that it causes and you are making them sign this document because you personally don't think it's safe and then force them to to sign the document <sighs> what a better way of teaching people the truth you know instead of fighting the media fighting these politicians use the same system that they're using and see how far it goes I think I think you're stronger I think you make a bigger point when you go with the energy instead of fighting it stop being a whamsy pamsy start using playing the game the way the game is played <laughs> peace out